and we've got to make sure that the good people on both sides really run the country. Daniel Benjamin is a former coordinator for counter... Welcome along folks, nine o'clock in the freaking evening, yes, it's nine o'clock at night, don't believe me, look how dark it is outsidewards. So today I have been absolutely blasting through the jobs, blasting through the jobs. We've got the lights up outside, uh, which I will show you at the end of the video and uh, we've got most of the furniture in position um, minus the bits of furniture that we don't have or I haven't made yet got two days to do it tomorrow's Thursday I need to really finalize all the plumbing and the electrics in the building to make sure that uh, on Friday when I get the last bits of furniture sorted and get prepared to go away with Tom, Abby and Gemma for the weekend in York that I don't worry myself to death about certain things that haven't been completed and then when I come back uh, Monday and Tuesday I've got to be a moving day so I'm going to kind of have to move the glass washer, get that plumbed in move all the bottle chillers, get all those set up and uh, any beer that we've got left on the stillage, which I'm hoping Sunday night we kind of run it as low as possible, but chances are there's going to be a fair bit left over. So we're going to have to pull all that across as well. So today I didn't pick up the camera to vlog in the sense of what I'm doing, but uh, I, I am. Here's the vlog. Here is the vlog. But the vlog is going to be a quick. Uh, walk and talk if you like of what I've achieved today so I'm going to turn the light off because I'm in the brewery at the moment just to shut everything down and then we'll go into the pub and have a little look at what we've done into the uh, downstairs area first and off of the beer garden it's a little bit overpopulated at the moment but today we've pretty much got all the tables and chairs into position and uh, got an idea of the vibe that this area is going to give Stuart's pretty much finished painting not sure about the purple fireplace and uh, we've got all of the timber panelling finished with the radiator covers and everything else along the back walls. We've also got the majority of the glossing finished on the doors, or the door frames at least. And uh, then on the stairs, we've got this big old black wall, which is gonna have some type of infographic on it at some point. And then moving up, to the first, well, the ground floor. Would you call this the ground floor, Sammy? Hey, hey. hey the ground floor or the first floor? Uh, first floor. We're moving up to the first floor. <laughs> uh, we've got pretty much a uh, bit more gloss varnish. What's it called? Polyurethane varnish on these pedestal tables, and uh, I've almost finished the back bar in terms of shelving got to do a little bit more work down there where the fridge is going to go and also down here where the sink is um, but yeah it's been a crazy day where we've just absolutely blasted through it like I said no camera has been out today you stood in corner like naughty children aren't you <laughs> <laughs> um, 
what's still been doing all day painting yeah we needed to get some more polyurethane on those tins down there the lighting works I think you've seen that before we've got the radiator covers on down here and also that's a big thing that I forgot to mention we got the piano wall done check that bad boy out so that's the piano this is or was the old piano the second piano that we took to pieces and we mounted it on the wall above the original one radiator covers the fantastic light feature provided by Burb so yeah one of my favorite features Burb's light so yeah we're gonna get that on a little table at some point just to lift it off the ground and uh, the corner settle is in place, another radiator cover that needs a little bit of gloss work and then it's just a case of shifting all the shite out of the building. I think we're pretty much, pretty much apart from some electrical and some plumbing work, we're pretty much done and ready to open the joint, a light fitting on that wall. And then of course all of the important things like the glass washer. So I'm going to take you outside before I end the vlog, short one today, and uh, we'll have a look at the lighting and the infographics that Iron Tree Designs have put on the windows for us. Check it out. So you can't really tell from the outside uh, the detail on this infographic. I suppose it would be better lit from the interior, but I'm really pleased with it. And then if I cross the road and let you just have a look behind me, we'll see the brew shed in all of its glory. Come on, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>